screen. Like <laughs> What's up, y'all? What's up? You can still see the screen though. Yeah, but it's a little more glitchy, so I'll, I'll can't. Yeah. Either, either can way. I I can see my screen. Yes, I can see it just fine. Here, you, I'll I'll I think it's like slowing it down a little, so I'm gonna cut it. <laughs> well, it was a pleasure to see your face. <laughs> Here I am, yo. We'll have to Skype again after this series cast session. Yeah, buddy, you know the dilly. Oh man, welcome, welcome everybody. Let's go ahead and jump into our next game. This is gonna be our third game of today's tournament. Let me go ahead and double, 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 triple check. Um, are we in the best of three? We aren't in the best of three quite yet. We are moving into our third round. The next round would most likely be the best of three. Unless we can uh, go ahead and watch some stragglers who are taking a little extra long for their games, getting into that macro frenzy. We're going to go ahead and be on Cloud Kingdom this game, I think. And at the bottom left, we're going to see Epic Voids, Zerg, Purple. At the top right, we are going to see the Terran, Green, Purple. No, not really. His name's P. His name's FPFF. -F. Very it's interesting name choice. There. I don't know what the background story is that. I mean, up that is. <laughs> what league are these? That's a wonderful question. As well as the lag questions. Always a wonderful question. Um, the league of these two homie Gs, they're both silver, silver players. Legitimate silver homie G Willikers. And we're going to see what silver can throw, what these two silvers can throw at each other. Well, we see Banshees. And it's not going to be fecal matter. Yeah, because that would be weird. And also, you need an incredible that shoulder to toss it that far. <laughs> Unless it was some, like really uh, small, like really small pellets, and you had some kind of rifle, you could just like sling it over across town and hit your buddy on the forehead. <laughs> Monkeys that are notorious good. for that. I know, I know. It's the number one weapon of choice for an orangutan, and you know we're. Uh... They say that we're not so far off from those damn apes. Oh, thank you, Muppet Nick. Uh, that's exactly, that should help you guys. Muppet Nick, appreciate it very much. For sh sharing that knowledge. Alrighty, expansion. We get knowledge no bombs cast. dropped. Knowledge bombs are dropped. Looks like this hatch, it looks like this pool went down after the hatch, which I love. I want to see this every single game from Zerg. I want to see that hatch before pool all day, every day. I like to see that because then I like to just throw a big fat cannon down right behind it. <laughs> yeah. But fortunately, Terrans don't have cannons. They have bunkers. Ooh, and that's this true. This is an option. They do have bunkers. FPF can do. And it's a very common option. Yeah. We are getting the double gases going down relatively fast here. Command Center is quite even done yet. It looks like it's almost like he traded here. A lot of players will put their bunker down in a frenzy because they want to defend this expansion from any shenanigans. But maybe, uh, maybe FPFF saw the uh, saw the late pool, the hatch before pool, and said, "I'm going to go ahead and get my gas on the way. I don't need that bunker for quite a while." Anything's possible. Still, no gas is going down for Epic Voids. Hmm. Safety spine, just like the safety bunker, is going down. In front of Epic's natural here. Fever, I'm sorry, man, but uh, it seems like you're the only one getting that issue. Big, big transfer going down. It's actually, I, I'd actually, uh, I'd actually kind of call that a bit too big of a transfer. Oh yeah. Maybe. Um, he wants to trick Zerg into thinking he, he's over making SC. Ah, enemies. those mining, silver mine, mine games. games. Doesn't get much more hardcore than that. <laughs> that silver mine games, man. They mm -hmm. can, they can do a lot. All right, nice saturation on the natural, continuing on to. The, I mean, nice saturation on the main, continuing on to the natural for Epic Void. Still opting not to get that gas. Wouldn't be surprised to see like a six minute and thirty second hatchery going down from Epic Void's overlords doing their slow migration across the board, and four marines and one cup are at the natural. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Alright, looks like we're gonna get that factory on the reactor for a little Hellion play, huh? What do you think? I think that Hellion, if he does use, yep, there goes the double Hellions on the way. Yep, I think this is gonna be wonderful, wonderful, as I don't think Spines are gonna be up on time to defend the third. Or if he can get a small pack of roaches to defend it, that should be, could be enough. Nice little drop of three creep tumors. I wonder, I'd really like to, I wonder how he's going to uh, divide these creep tumors. Maybe he'll decide to put two running forward towards his opponent's base and one continuing to the right to try and connect this highway, the creep highway, to the third. Or he might just dedicate all of them going to the third, the double evolution chambers and the roach warren going down just almost simultaneously. Going to leave just a small gap so to, to make it extra easy to keep any kind of hellion shenanigans at bay. All right, there's a couple of people now um, mentioning some lag, I think. But uh, yeah, we have, sure. yeah, we have about three people, four people. All right, well, some people say no, so maybe it's just them. I feel like I may be a culprit here. I'm not sure. I hope that's not the case. Yeah, well, uh, well, with any situ well, of course, with any situation can't do too much right now but we do appreciate the feedback and keep letting us know because we can edit the options and uh and try and try and help you guys out there appreciate the all right we got some hellions in the third to get a drone and these queens are going to come in and shoo these hellions away say shoot hellions get on out of here scram oh buddy um, yeah, perhaps after this game, I'll go ahead and uh, put that, put the uh, bitrate a little bit low, a bit lower. We'll see if that actually fixes the problem. That has in the past fixed the problem, so I think it is in our means to find a solution. Alrighty, stim packs on the way. Mariners, Mariners, Mariners are the unit of choice. They're gonna have the backup of the mighty medivacs as we are seeing the second. Is this the second factory? Nope, nope. The factory just lifted up and decided to move on to a tech lab. Looks like his production of Hellions will come to a halt here. Looks like this third expansion not really getting uh not getting too. Looks like it's going up pretty nice and safely here. I like this wall the Zerg made at his natural. With, yeah. the, with the two evos and the roach one and the spine. Yeah, it's very nice. It's pretty nice, yeah. You could probably just hold a couple units in there, a couple queens, and make a complete wall off if necessary. I like it. Long time. Long time. Alright, double gas is being taken. We aren't seeing, we're just about 11 minutes into the game, we're not seeing Terran. Getting his third, his third command center or his third base going down quite yet. Double engineering bays are pumping out the upgrades for these mariners, and the tanks are going to be the backup as we do, as we are going to see four barracks, three with tech labs pushing forward. It looks like I think, I, I think we're going to we're going to see a big push out come out here from Terran. And last time we saw this situation go down, good old Void Zones. I believe he was actually playing this. Uh, he had a little pack of, he had a few fungals. To, uh, to meet his opponent right about at the middle of the base, middle of the map, I mean. And the push is going out. One Overlord is going to be able to spot the push. Let's go ahead and jump over to the Voids cam, as we do see the lair on the way. That could actually be the hive, potentially. He's going to see the units moving forward. Nice creep spread. It's going to give him extra, extra, extra time. Let's go ahead and get prepared for this production tab is showing us upgrade uh, one one upgrades are just about to finish overlords it looks like we are hitting a little bit of a supply supply blog here as he is rushing we do see 18 lings in production right now will it be too little or too too little too late supplies 135 to 142 looking a little bit even but at what cost investors on the way however I don't think they'll have the pathogen glands quite yet and no scans going down quite yet for this creep. He wants to go ahead and engage immediately. ASAP. Uh, 
Looks like that tree goes down. However, FPFF lost uh, lost that entire army. Wasn't able to retreat. And this counterattack with a lot of wings. The one one lineage going directly for the for the, uh, the tank first, losing so many links as he does decide wow. to retreat. And the third command center is officially down as we are seeing the fourth hatchery going down. Let's go ahead and look at the saturation at the main of Zerg's base. Go ahead and click on these mineral patches. We do have 25, 75. This, this base is just going to be saturated for about an extra minute or two. So right now we are going to see Zerg move back onto those three bases if, if he can keep this fourth hatchery safe. But we are seeing the push out going down once again. These mariners are 1-1. One, one. No upgrades in the bank right now. Did you see Mariners, Marooters, as well as tanks and medevacs are the is the composition of choice. Possibly able to get a few free overlords. Right now we are 119 to 165, and that's a really big uh, that's a really big supply supply difference there. Even though I feel like Epic Voids has the mass of units to be able to defend it. Push of these tanks, their superior range, offering them great harassment capabilities, especially on the map with this kind of fourth base. I know, right? And I, I feel like FPFF needs, still needs to be pretty careful here. He did, he was able to take out this expansion, but does he really want to move forward here? I think it voids is just buying his time. To pounce like a kitty, a cute, adorable kitty. One lane going out to move forward. He wants to know if this army is coming towards him or is retreating, and he knows the dilly dally. These bailings look like they are going to be able to make the connection. A ten, ten wow. mariners in production right now. It's a lot. Wow. Hmm. Command Center lifts up and is moving to the third. Simultaneously, these lings run up and are arriving at the third. He's going to have to segment a few of these mariners to go ahead and deal with that. Right now, Zerg's economy, I feel like it's hurting pretty hard right now. He actually isn't mining right now from the gases at his natural. He is mining at the one gas in his main, in his, na in his natural, I meant his third. He's actually on three gases right now. And I think, he's, I think he may just be forgetting to uh, saturate these gases here. But it might just be enough for uh, FPFF to uh, be able to take an advantage here. As he is going to be able to plop down his third, plop down the magical mules. Get out of the way, Marines. <laughs> it would be cool if you could land on like a unit and then they'd sl turn into like a super unit. You could land <laughs> on a Marine and you'd be like a super Marine. Have like 14 range and stim is free. <laughs> right, more hatcheries going down on this base. He is trying to take back his third right now, and the economy is coming right back up for Epic Voids as he's trying to, as he's trying to kind of get back into, get back into the place he wants to be. He wants to get that three base saturation, and he wants to get that money. He wants to get that money army, that that money late game army if he can. Mariners are at 1-2 two, two attack as we are seeing these ling these, these, this lingage is at 3-3 three, three already and we are seeing once again the Ultralix Cavern just finishing now and we are seeing just about the same thing we saw last game however Epic Voids is having to deal with this constant aggression on his third on his fourth hatchery as well as on his third hatchery